Uh, hello guys, and welcome to my very first episode for Minecraft 1.3.2 modding. Um, so, if you haven't seen my setup video that I did for 1.2.5, go check that out, it's going to be in the description. So, now let's just get into it, open up your uh, Eclipse, and I have my modding folder right here, so, once Eclipse loads up, let's go and find my uh, workstation. Build my desktop, so how many of these? Oh, I can't see it. Uh, maybe it's this one. No, it's MCP62. I mean, MCP70. I think this is it. So, you have its forge folder. So, it's that eclipse folder. Yep. So, let's get in. So, instead of typing out all the code, I decided I would put it into these little nice text files. I'll probably upload them to, um, what's that website? It's like this website where you could just put code up. But, uh, let's let it refresh our workspace. Uh, so, if you have modded in the past before, you would notice there's something different now. There's no, like, bunch of folders. There's not, like, a, a client and a server. There's one folder now. And also, there's also a common folder now. Common is... It's like common folder is just like a... The server and the client in one, I guess. And the source is just all the source. There's a build path problem. Oh well. So to start off, just right click here. New. And you're going to want to make a new package. And I forget what we're supposed to name our package. I'm going to go off... Or a wing and called it Forge TGN. So TGN starts for the game and noobs. And the Forge is just Forge, I guess, to allow it to know if it's a part of Forge. Hopefully that's not wrong. If it is, I'll put an annotation. Now, you'll want to make a new class. This new class will want, it'll be your uh, base Forge TGN class. So, this part where I put TGM, that's just your mod name. You can put that there. I'll make up our class, and now let's just open up this. Open this, copy it. Is that a Forge TGM? Yeah, it's Forge TGM, the package should be. Let's make that bigger, and we'll go and explain code. Okay, so, as you see, the base class folder mod thingy is a lot different now. Uh, Forge mod loader no longer uses like mod underscore whatever extended space mod. That's like really old poo. Now we use this. Yeah, this. Uh, so this is your mods ID. Forge mod. You can call it whatever you want. This is my name. Mine's TGN .toot, or tut. And then this is the version. Uh, so this part here. That's like, instead of putting, like, instead of extending your network mod, now you just put this, let's do client side and server side, it puts both files into one, your server and client, if that makes any sense at all. Um, there's a common proxy and there's like this whole proxy system now. But yeah, the, uh, instead of doing, uh, extending your network mod, it just puts in this nice single line or multiple lines. Uh, so yeah, now we'll want want to go and grab our common proxy. First, I guess we should make a file. So go to right click your forge, new class, and then call it common. Oops, common proxy. And now we'll open this, copy it. We'll put it into it, and then we'll save it. I guess we should save that too. Okay, so the proxy system. Uh, the proxy system basically eliminates the need for maintaining a separate server and client file. You can just designate a, a different class file to be loaded for each environment and stuff. So, uh, yeah, this is just stuff. Oh, uh, what did I just do? Oh, gird. 
Oh, gird. Okay. Oh, gird. Oh, gird. It's broken. Oh, well. I'll just keep it there. Never do use that anyway, so. Um. I honestly don't know what this stuff means yet. But it's just from what my understanding. You're supposed to code. So, yeah. Well, uh. What, what's okay client proxy now we want to make a client proxy folder so or file so just make one hit finish then open up this client proxy it's very nice small code the client proxy basically extends the common proxy now, just something I want to say before anyone gets a bit confused most people, when they code, they'll code like that, but I code like this. That's just preference, I don't know, just like putting it there instead of there. Maybe you two would like to do that, I don't know. It doesn't change anything, it's just how I like to code. So yeah, this has been episode one, thanks for watching. And in episode two, I'll show you how to make a block. Maybe if we have time, I'll add some recipe for your block. And, um, yeah. See ya.